um okay hello everyone uh, welcome again so this video will be very interesting because in this video we will be exploring the variable because right now if you see we are giving some static value and it was printing the static value so right now we have understand the code like how the code looks like typically it has a keyword it has an identifier and there is an expression which is inside the block now uh, we will be you know uh, making the code is a little bit dynamic you know we will be exploring the variables type so um let's do one thing first of all uh, let me just come out this from this folder and create some another folder so i will call it variables folder and let's go inside the variable folder open the new uh, code uh, visual code and let's make a first file um, and let's call it first dot tf uh, maybe call it variable first dot tf looks good so uh, in this variable file okay uh, what we gonna do if I just quickly go to the command and show you right now there should be nothing in this folder we just created uh, and if I do the dir uh, there is zero file right now in this folder particularly so uh, you know uh, in the variable the concept will remain same first of all uh, what we run uh, there will be a keyword of terraform number one then we said there will be a identifier and they're gonna be a block then we say okay inside the block again there will be one identifier and then we are gonna write the expression here this was we were talking about so let me comment this out uh, so we're talking about variables so you know terraform is a very user friendly it comes with the keyword which is very easy to understand and that's the beauty of visual code i just tried very and visual studio uh, visual code already detected that i'm trying to write the variable because terraform extension and it shows me the complete code so i don't need to type the complete and i just click this and there you go uh, it shows me okay you can define a variable this is pretty much defined field you know uh, it's called the key variable then it's an optional i can call it uh, you know uh, my first variable okay this is my first variable and then it comes the type what kind type of variable um, you are using uh, if you talk about the type in terraform you know we have string uh, variable uh, we can define the numbers type variable you know we can define okay the type is number uh, we can define the type is list we can define the type is map uh, you know and there is another type is called object uh, multiple types of terraform so we will discuss definitely one by one you know uh, each use cases I will define multiple use cases in my head I will you know uh, first explain the use case I will explain the problem and we will use the type uh, specifically with that use case so uh, let me comment this out right now okay so my first variable the type is a string uh, let me make it clear so you don't confuse uh, okay this one uh, so that's I'm telling okay I just need to create one variable that's the identifier you can use anything and I'm not giving any default value right now I can give the default value uh, maybe you know um, uh, let's say we call the variable uh, terraform new variable that's the value of the variable okay we, we want uh, this kind of the value uh, in the variable now again this variable will create one identifier and save this value which is a string in this identifier and how to get the output you know about so you're gonna use the output block in the output block again I'm just deleting this I will explain this I will type okay now when first uh, I will see uh, you know I will name the output block here I will call it uh, variable block that's only an identifier you know we have to give the identifier to uh, differentiate each block as we, as we you know learn in the second and the third video now to reference a variable in terraform you have to write first var and dot var dot reference a variable in terraform this tells you know this var dot tells in var output variable okay output you need to get some variable reference value and how to reference definitely you are correct from the identifier Be because like you can think of there are 10 different block I will I will explain this one no problem so I'm telling terraform output okay you need to war you need to get the value from where from this particular identifier and let's see what gonna happen if I run the terraform plan now and all you can see so it's variable block 
and what's the value it's getting terraform new variable which is from here because it is reading the value from this block now let's see what gonna happen if I create another block let's me copy this and uh, uh, so default in the default you can give the default value maybe I can give new uh, second variable and I can write my you know instead of first I'm gonna write my second variable so now I have two variables first is my first variable the second is my second variable uh, the value of first variable is terraform new variable the value of second variable is terraform second variable and let me create another variable you know it's gonna be interesting and my num variable and I'm gonna call it number and the number I'm gonna give the value of one two three four five six so I have three variables now and in my output block I want to reference now my you can see the beautiful of the visual code it's showing me all three variables here so I'm calling my num variable let's see so technically what we have learned it should reference the value of my num variable it will see all the variables and there is the identifier so it should technically return one two three four five so if I clear and write terraform plan and there you go so this is very intelligent terraform is very intelligent in this particular scenario you know it's, it's reading it's going there it's reading the value and it's replying from particularly a specific block of the code you know it, it doesn't reply you from the other code and if you want to return multiple type you know multiple variable you have to define the output variable multiple time like for variable uh, second block uh, I can I will need to provide it again like this my dot uh, second variable and now when I run the let me first clear this screen so now if I run the terraform plan command uh, you're gonna see now in the first because it was referencing my num variable which is one two three four five and the second is referencing my second variable and the value of my second variable is terraform second variable so this is how in terraform we define the variable one very quick thing uh, before we end uh, somebody can think let me make the code very easy deleting all these things you might be thinking hey Vakas why you are fixing the value in terraform let's make the value dynamic so if you want to make the value dynamic you can just delete this you know you don't need to give the default value and the description is only description type you can type okay please enter the name okay what gonna happen if I run now first I need to because there is the first variable reference second one I have deleted this one now what gonna happen I'm not defining the default variable so if I run the terraform plan again uh, you wanna see one quick magic so it's asking me please enter the name which is the description and it's asking me the value this time last time I'm defining the value as a default value this time it's asking me the value so I'm gonna give the value let's say Vakas and now it's have assigned this value to this block of the code so that's pretty much from Terraform variable and I'll see you in the next variable. Thank you.